hello hello everyone my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and today I'm coming at you with a fall recommendations video so this video is going to be some recommendations of books I think are perfect to read in the fall time these will not include spooky books uh, one of them is a bit of a cozy mystery, but it's not like spooky, not like Halloween. Um, that will be a separate video more towards the end. Um, otherwise, if you want spooky content, I am doing my whole spooky reading extravaganza right now. Links to the videos explaining that are in the description, so feel free to check them out. And while you're down there, why don't you subscribe, hit the bell, like the video if you like fall, and uh, comment down below if you have any recommendations for me for this fall season. So I tried to choose books from all different genres for any and all different types of readers, especially since I think that some books for some people scream fall, but for others may not. Uh, for me, fall is all about the coziness and the aesthetics, um, so anything for me that is like a cozy mystery or fairy tale, something kind of familiar, nostalgic, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> so let's just get into the recommendations, shall we? So the first book I'm going to recommend, I listened over audiobook over the summer and that is Fat Chance Charlie Vega and I loved this book. This book takes place at the beginning of the school year, which is why I think fall would be a good time as it is kind of in the fall time of the year with school starting and it's just such a sweet contemporary book. It follows Charlie Vega who is learning to accept her plus size body as well as deal with her mom and other people not accepting her for who she is. Um, so she has this hobby of writing which writing is kind of a hobby in characters that seems very cozy to me because I think of NaNoWriMo, which is in November, it's during fall time, and I love the idea of sitting inside on a rainy day next to a window and writing a novel or reading a novel. Um, and also, the cover is mostly orange. <laughs> I will admit the cover played a little bit into it for this one recommendation, but not for all of them. Um, so I would definitely recommend checking that one out. It's a little bit more of a slice of life. I didn't find like a super... Uh, obvious overall plot but I very much enjoyed it and was constantly wanting to read more so if you haven't if you haven't checked it out yet you should definitely do that the next one I'm going to recommend is a historical fiction and I talked about this a lot right after I read it um, but it is Juliet and this is by Anne Fortier and this is partially a retelling partially not so it's the idea of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet you go back and forth between what actually happened with Romeo and Juliet, what's different than the Shakespeare's version, and then it also follows Juliet's descendant from years, years, generations, generations later. She's uncovering the mysteries of what actually happened to Romeo and Juliet and how that is affecting her life in the present. So she travels to Italy and goes through this whole, mag not magical, but this whole adventure. And I think this is a great full-time read because it is that nostalgic Romeo and Juliet and it's in a warm setting, which even though fall is getting into a cooler season, I still think warm settings can be very cozy. Um, and just all the little fun Italian influences just make me think of travel. And so I, I enjoyed reading this during the fall time. Then the next one I have to recommend is a fairy tale retelling. This is kind of a bigger uh, type of book that I will be recommending, and that is Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa Bachardost. And this is a Persian-inspired Sleeping Beauty type retelling. It's the idea where the princess is locked away because she is poisonous to the touch. No one may touch her skin or they will instantly die. Not great for her. <laughs> not great for those people um, because this is uh, mythology and Persian and it's a standalone which is also kind of nice I thought that it has really cool adventurous cozy vibes um, it's a very different kind of cozy like it's definitely much more a fantasy reader 
cozy as there's magic and there's this mythical flame and I yeah I really enjoyed this book and it, it the cover itself looks more spring than fall but I feel like the story could go either way there's a huge emphasis on nature which normally I would point towards spring for but you know leaves are turning on trees so why not give this a chance then the next one that I'm going to recommend is actually one that is being adapted into a Netflix adaptation. I'm not super current on it, but because it is resurfacing in popular media, I thought I would throw it in here. And that is The School for Good and Evil, and this is by Sonan Jainani. And this is all the cozy vibes because it is academic, it is retellings, it is fairy tales, it is so sweet. I just, I absolutely loved this. So it's the idea that there is a school for good and a school for evil. And two kids are chosen from these villages every year to attend the appropriate school for them. And when they graduate, they need their story becomes a fairy tale and it is written into books. And that is what's passed along to the villages that these kids come from. But no one believes that they're one and the same. So, and there's a little bit of like cozy mystery. It's then again, it's the nostalgia fairy tale esque uh, cozy feelings that you definitely get from this book. And it is the first in a series. I've only read this one and a little bit of the second one, but I'm sure the rest of the series is just as cozy. Another, this is a much more broader recommendation, but if you are also one of those people that love fairy tale, retelling nostalgic type, I would recommend pretty much any and all of the Disney Twisted Tale books. I own all of them except for the one that just came out, What Once Was Mine, the Rapunzel retelling, but I own all the other ones and I've read about half of them. So at this point I should really do a reading vlog where I read the rest of them, but um, maybe, maybe I'll do that in November or something. Comment down below if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. It's a reading vlog of reading all of the Disney Twisted Tales that I have not yet read and then maybe I can rank them in my favorites. But anyway, if you like Disney, I would recommend choosing one or two of your favorite stories, seeing if there has been a Twisted Tale book released with it, and then read that. Again, fairy tale, nostalgic but with a twist so it's interesting. I, I would say go for it. I think it would be a lot of fun. And the last recommendation that I have for you is very different from all the other ones. I've talked about it a little bit recently as the second book just came out and I loved it. And that is The Inheritance Game and this is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And this is definitely the cozy mystery type. So I, a lot of people describe it as like knives out meets something else I don't remember but it's because I didn't know what it was but I completely agree so it's the idea that this girl who lives with her older sister who's kind of struggling through life doing her best to get good grades to get an education to get a good job uh, all of a sudden gets a call and finds out that this billionaire down in Texas has left her everything so she she goes down there to attend the reading of the will and it's true this billionaire basically disinherited his entire family and has given everything to this seemingly random person on the condition that she lives in the house with the family for a year. And the house is the best because it is all the cozy vibes of mysteries and puzzles and little games happening and trying to figure out why she got all the money but at the same time there are secret passageways and oh my word the four grandsons. So this is definitely a very different kind of uh, fall vibe, but I think it's absolutely perfect. It's great if you don't like spooky books or you don't really want to read or are interested in reading like horror or thriller, but you still kind of want to get into those mysterious vibes. I think this would be perfect for you to pick up. And like I said, the second book just came out uh, like a month or two ago, The Hawthorne Legacy, and they are beautiful. All right, those are all the fall recommendations I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment down below with any of your recommendations, or if you have read any of these books, I would love to chat with you about them. And subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell so you get notified. I post every Thursday, and during the month of October, I am posting bonus videos on Tuesday, like this one.
as long as this one actually goes up on Tuesday. I'm gonna try so hard. Um, but yeah, until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Thank you.